Hey there folks, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun here, and the wait is over. I know some of you have been waiting patiently, some of you have been waiting very impatiently and constantly writing letters and posting things on the internet, but the YC9, the Yeet Cannon, yes indeed, the High Point Yeet Cannon. This is the gun that the, uh, well the prototype that didn't even have a name was shown off at the uh, January 2020 SHOT Show. And then what happened to the world? Well, about March, the wheels fell off. Now, between then, between the wheels falling off and the SHOT Show, what the folks at High Point did is they did an online contest and they wanted you to vote for a name. And so you guys voted for Yeet Cannon and it happened. And I guess it's a case of be careful what you wish for, right? So what is unique about this gun that is, yes, finally out and available? All right, number one, starting from the top, working down. It has a redesigned slide. So if you look closely, it has forward and rear cocking serrations. The front sight, the front factory sight, uh, is a Glock compatible, and you can mount an aftermarket Glock front sight, a G17, either tritium or fiber optic or whatever floats your boat. You could do that if you like. Now the rear sight, I've already removed it and replaced it. It's pretty much standard high point. And what you can purchase as an aftermarket accessory is an optic mounting plate like this one right here that has a crimson trace mini red dot. And they will be in the future selling these as kits. The gun will come with, you can as an option, you can purchase one with the plate and the mini red dot. But the standard Yeet Cannon does not come with those, but you can replace them. Uh, you can buy them and they're also going to have a picatinny rail section that you can replace the rear sight and put a piece of picatinny rail so you can mount whatever it is you want on there all right so right here the barrel obviously uh, as is standard high point this is a fixed barrel it's a fixed barrel it does not reciprocate uh, it does not move it does not tilt or rotate it is fixed to the frame and this fixed barrel has da -da -da -da, from the factory factory threading. So those of you who live in free America and who are allowed by your masters to own cans, uh, it's half by 28, which is pretty much standard nine millimeter American threading. Uh, oh, did I mention it's a nine millimeter? Yeah, it's a nine millimeter. So it has a factory threaded barrel. It has the same uh, accessory rail right here on the dust cover that you've come to uh, to know. What is different about the, uh, the frame? The frame is actually redesigned uh, it has a unique grip texture on the uh, grip panels here. So it's a redesigned frame, has a rubber backstrap, and it has a grip safety, which you might not even notice uh, if nobody pointed it out to you because it's really not, uh, it's not that big and, and it doesn't get in your way. And, and the truth of the matter is, is when I shot this gun, uh, I've shot it a couple of different times now, I didn't even notice that it was there. I know a lot of people hate grip safeties, um, but this one, I didn't really even notice it was there. And left-handed and right-handed, I never missed the grip safety. So there's that. Uh, safety, manual safety is the exact same as, as on the standard high points, up for safe, down for fire. And then you also use the manual safety as the slide lock as well. So it's a dual purpose dealio. Uh, it's actually has a pretty nice trigger. What about the magazine? You know, you heard the rumors. You're like, I heard rumors they're going to come out with a 15 round magazine. That did not happen. But what did happen was they came up with a tapered double stack. It starts at double stack at the bottom and then it tapers to a single column. This is a 10 round magazine. So it has a 10 round magazine uh, with a fingered floor plate. Uh, so that's what it looks like. Each gun will come with one 10 round magazine. Obviously, if you want more, you can order those from High Point. All in all, not a bad gun. The first day that we got this gun, Jared and I took it to the range the day we picked it up and real quick fired about 50 rounds through it. Uh, the majority of what we, we shot was full metal jacket stuff. But I did have some Black Hills Honey Badger ammunition. If you don't know what the Honey Badger is, it performs like a hollow point, like an expanding bullet without the need to expand. So it's a non-expanding tissue damaging bullet. It's pretty cool stuff. Uh, I ran it through the gun. The gun functioned uh, without a problem. Like I said, Jared and I shot about 50 rounds the first day. We shot it in standard configuration without the red dot and so forth. So, and, and it ran just fine. Uh, I put a little bit of lube on it. I opened it up 
and I put some frog lube on it just to make sure that it had some lubrication. Now today I came out and obviously I'd mounted the red dot. Uh, make sure when you go to the range, if you got the little red dot and you mounted it or installed it in your garage or your workshop, make sure you take that little tiny Allen wrench with you because you can't make adjustments without that little tiny Allen wrench, which I did, I brought it. And it took me about six rounds uh, to adjust it to point of aim, point of impact at 10 yards. And uh, so I was good to go from that point forward. Uh, I discovered that this gun does not like some of the hollow point ammunition that's out there. In the ammo can I've got right next to me, I, I have the, the variety pack of nine mil. And uh, one of the things I tried through this was the Defiant Munitions Full Metal Jacket uh, ran like a dream, ran like a champ. So the, I ran the Defiant Munitions Full Metal Jacket training ammo, Federal Remington Winchester. Uh, I had some CCI Spear Full Metal Jacket and also some Fiocchi Full Metal Jacket. All of that ran through it fine. I had uh, some leftover that I probably had for years, a Winchester Silver Tip Hollow Point. Uh, it did not like that. So uh, what I would run through this, so I would practice with full metal jacket, right? Go ahead, practice with full metal jacket, do that. And then if you want to load it up for self-defense, personal defense, what have you, spend the money, buy the Black Hills Honey Badger ammo, and uh, you should be good to go. Oh, also, some of you are wondering, so it's a 10 round. Can you top it off? Can you put one in the chamber and then stuff a full 10 round mag in and have it run reliably? Some guns do, some guns don't. This one did, I did that several times. I did it several times where I loaded the chamber, then I took a full 10 round mag, put it in there and shot it and I didn't have any problems. So, and I shot it right-handed only and I shot it left-handed only and I shot it, I only shot it out to about 15, maybe 17 yards or so, uh, not too far. And you're like, oh, you need to shoot at 25, 30. Dude, it's, it's a, a nine millimeter handgun with a four inch barrel. It, it, I'm sure it's gonna be priced well under $300. Uh, if you can hit your target, half silhouette at 17 yards, you're good to go, you're good to go. Uh, and another thing I discovered was when I was using the Crimson Trace that I did not have a problem finding the dot. Well, you know, I, I came up and boom, the dot was right there. Uh, pretty good system, pretty good uh, setup. So there you go. All of you guys that have been screaming for High Point to get off the dime and, and get off the stick and, and produce the yeet cannon for you, now what you've got is you have a factory threaded barrel, nine millimeter, that has an, a red dot option for a very inexpensive price. There you go. These are uh, gonna be available from your local dealer right now. That's the Yeet Cannon or YC9 from High Point.